Is it Florida or Florida? Doesn't matter. Pink flamingos. There's some unique economic aspects that I think you might find interesting. Let's come along for the ride and great scenery. After a certain age, you have to move to Florida in the United States. It's the law. But some people move there before that age and they reap many economic benefits. The economic benefits of moving to Florida are countless. You may be skeptical, but listen on. These are the top five economic reasons to move to Florida. This comes from personal experience and I teach economics. Here's a little personal history to put it into some context. I grew up in preppy New England, Connecticut specifically. I worked in Boston and then I moved to Europe, Krakow, Poland specifically. In Boston, I made a lot of money, but it cost a heck of a lot just to sustain a small one bedroom apartment in Beacon Hill. Then I moved to Krakow, Poland. I had a much bigger apartment, a greater lifestyle, living at a fraction of the income. Ultimately, I moved to St. Augustine, Florida. That was 11 years ago. So I have a little bit of experience with comparing and contrasting the cost of living, lifestyle, and different places to live. It should also be noted, I have a little bit of a family connection to Florida. In the 40s, yes, the 1940s, my father had a running back scholarship, football scholarship to University of Miami. Eventually, some of my family started to move down here. So we've got experience living in Florida for quite some time. It changed from a retirement place to a place to raise a family. He lives in Jupiter now, and I often joke, my parents are from Jupiter. Jupiter, Florida, mind you. So let's get into it. The first reason, the first economic reason to move to Florida is health. When I lived in Europe, the cities tend to be a little bit crowded, a little bit polluted. And I was looking for a place where I could get fresh air. On an index in the United States, if you measure air quality, usually the Florida towns, especially the coastal towns and the inner inlet towns are very high quality air, 89, 90 percentile. It has a huge difference on your well-being. You can't underestimate that. And how does that tie in economically? Well, let's go further. It's also a relatively warm climate, balmy climate. There's a lot of vitamin D. And I'm not giving you exact double-blind research study statistics right now, but based on personal experience, I can tell you definitively the amount of time that I'm sick in Florida versus a colder, darker region, maybe as a coincidence, is significantly less. And that is connected to productivity, the ability to work, the ability to accomplish things, show up to work, and also less bills going to the doctors and doing whatever you need to do to medicate or remediate your health. When you're living in Florida, life is great. The sun is shining, you feel happy, you just generally have a greater sense of well-being. And when you have that, you get to be actualizing your full potential. I find myself walking much more outside in nature, moving. And it would be hard to argue that physical exercise is not a beneficial thing for your, your life. And this also contributes to productivity and economic benefit. Now, there's other things, like there's no prevalence of Lyme or radon in Florida. There's a lot of things that you can mitigate in Florida that up north or in colder, darker regions, you can't. We don't have earthquakes here. There's a lot of things. You may say hurricanes, but, you know, I have to argue that the damage from blizzards and snowstorms up north with the ice and sleet on the roads is more than an occasional hurricane, which you have three-day warnings for, and everybody's pretty well prepared. And it really only hits a fraction of the people. And you, if you prepare, just like up north with a snowstorm, it's not an economic loss for you. So generally, health is a major reason to come down here that is connected to economic benefit. I've also found that the healthcare professionals here are top quality. The second economic reason 
to move to Florida is cost. No matter how you run the numbers, you do not need a lot to live in Florida. If you have a family, basically you need shorts, a pair of sandals. You don't need scarves and gloves and hats and boots. Maybe a, a cap to protect from the sun, but you don't need a lot of these extra layers of clothing as well as all the things that are connected to the depreciation of your car resulting from snow, ice, and salt. Now, in the winter, I don't have a heating bill. Maybe in, I, in the fireplace, I've got a fire once in a while for aesthetics and for some warmth, but I have zero heating bill, zero. And in the summer, I do have an AC bill. But if you run fans and cross breezes, it's a fraction of anything you'll pay anywhere else in the country. Some people argue you don't need air conditioning in Florida. And they look at me like, are you crazy? No. People lived here for thousands and thousands of years. Native indigenous uh, tribes living here. Calusia. Oh, and the Spanish have been living for 500 years here without air conditioning. If you know how to live in a Mediterranean climate, a tropical, subtropical climate, and with cross breezes and some fans, it feels very nice in Florida. We don't have a state income tax. Do you know how much that saves? The amount of money you save from not having an income tax, you can take a trip around the world, or to Europe at least, every single year. Or you can just be a snowbird. Also, property taxes are significantly lower. I think I did a comparison between my house here versus my house in Connecticut and it's about a $10,000 a year savings in taxes, property taxes, that is. That 10000 think about what you could do with it. You could start to build a tiny home somewhere. Repairs, service, service people, they're a fraction of the cost they would cost you in California or New York, for example. A lot of people are handymen and they, uh, or women, and it's a do-it-yourselfer type state. If you have YouTube, you can go to Home Depot, Lowell's, or wherever you like, and you can do it yourself. Another thing that saves money is there's four seasons of growing out here. In your backyard, you can have basil, tomatoes, vegetables. We have greens 365 days out of the year. Do you know how much money that saves having fresh greens and stream beans and produce 365 days out of the year in a small garden in your backyard or your front yard. I also have a home orchard. We have figs and apples and pears and plums. We have everything you can imagine growing in a home orchard. Fruit is expensive. Housing, it's still cheaper, I would argue, in most places in Florida than anywhere in the country. You can pick up land pretty cheap here. There's a lot of places. The world is all interconnected. You can order things online. You don't need to be next to a mega center city in order to purchase something or go shopping. So you can live in, in the countryside where land is cheap. So overall, the cost savings of living in Florida is so significant, you cannot compare and say, well, you earn more here or there. You're, you always have to measure wealth and cost in terms of physically, what do I see around me? What do I have? What do I own? What do I do? When I first moved to Florida, I was shocked at the differential between the income. So the, so the third reason to move to Florida is income. The income is actually lower in Florida. At least when I first moved here, 2011, at the height of the financial crisis. But it's the future. Forward that 11 years, and salaries are almost comparable. And I would say for the cost of living adjustment, you have higher salaries in Florida. I know it sounds crazy. Maybe there's some people still in the Silicon Valley or uh, on Wall Street that do make more, but everything's remote or a lot of things are remote now. And top investment hedge funds are in Palm Beach County. People are moving to where it's cheaper and easier to live. Life is better. Income in maybe nominal terms might be higher somewhere and somewhere else. But in real terms, and you always have to, as an economist, look at real earnings, it's higher in Florida. The fourth reason, economic reason to live in Florida, is vacation. You don't need to take exotic trips all over the place just to get out of the rat race or the tre off the treadmill. You're already in vacation land. 
We go to the parks, the springs, the beaches. There's hiking here. There's even hills in Florida. They call it the highlands, but they're not that high. There's infinite amount of things with imagination you can do in Florida. There was a poem by Blake, to see a world in a grain of sand and heaven in a wildflower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. That is how you feel in Florida and you save money on vacation. I haven't run out of things to do even in my local region. You can get a family pass to the state parks and there's scores of things you can do. You can spend a lifetime exploring the state parks in Florida. And the last way that it makes economic sense to move to Florida or to live in Florida is Forrest Gump. What? Forrest Gump. If you ever saw the movie Forrest Gump, it's about a guy who's really not that with it or oriented towards career. Maybe he's not as competitive as everybody else, but somehow he got rich and he with with not even trying. He bought some company, he thought it was a fruit company called Apple. He bought the stock for it. And there he is, a multimillionaire. And that's the way you get rich in Florida. I, I call it the Forrest Gump way to get rich. Whereas my friends and colleagues are grinding away up north, earning and trying to save money at these high salaried positions. I just moved here. We go to the beach four days out of five and the appreciation on my house, because the demographic trends are moving down here, the appreciation on my house, my house doubled in price, is more than I could have saved in a whole career or a lifetime of work. So you could A, do a lifetime of work doing the honorable and dignity, uh, sitting in a cubicle up north, taking some position or a title and just grinding away, or you could move to Florida. And I don't see those demographic trends changing anytime soon. The, if you buy right, the appreciation on your house could potentially lead to more net wealth than you would have done if you were up north in a real estate market that is potentially flat. And of course, things change all the time and you're paying taxes, but earning uh, income with title. So I earned the amount that my friends earned up north in 10, 11 years by going to the beach and surfing every day the Forrest Gump way to get rich. So there's very few downsides about living in Florida economically. And I think it just feels easier to live economically. The bills are not as stressful. If you don't have a lot of money for heating, don't worry, we don't need heat. If you don't have a lot of money for food, don't worry, we grow our own food. If you don't have a lot of money for vacation, don't worry, just go to the beach. And there's so much money in motion here money coming down. There's always something to do, always work to be found. You can think of some innovative, creative, off-grid way to make money, whether it's making soap or doing a cleaning service or lawn service, if you don't have necessarily skill set that you want to employ into the machinery of the corporate world. And there's a lot of colleges and universities and other things to expand if you want to go the professional skills route. So it makes economic sense to move to a place where you're going to be happy, where you're going to spend more quality time with your family, less time commuting, enjoying the fresh air. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave it in the comments below. Like, subscribe. Thank you very much. And let me know your experiences about Florida or what you think if you're thinking to move to Florida.